Bristol, England's orthodontic procurement process has been an unmitigated disaster. These might seem like strong words, but the evidence is there to support them. Following the procurements in London and the South West, a substantial number of practices lost their contracts. Practices which have provided a lifetime of excellent service to their patients and to the NHS. Of course, there's nothing wrong with new entrants to the market, but unfortunately, far too many of them promised everything for the lowest possible price and were subsequently unable to deliver. Too many new providers have handed contracts back or had contracts rescinded. Data obtained from the BSA suggests that new providers in London have been anywhere up to six months late going live. The procurement in Midlands and East was abandoned following a series of legal challenges which have highlighted multiple failings, standards falling far below the requirements of law and good procurement practice, including a lack of consistency, transparency or equal treatment in relation to the marking of bids. In addition to causing financial losses, this flawed process has created stresses for existing providers and new bidders, impacting on their mental and physical health. The disruption has led to a loss of services, a reduction in access and increased waiting times. Despite repeated Freedom of Information requests, NHS England have still not revealed what the procurements have cost them, but it will be a substantial sum. This is money which could have been used to treat patients or improve services. There are now moves to resume the procurement in the north of England, which was suspended during the COVID pandemic, as well as starting a new procurement in central Midlands and East. We're all still dealing with the fallout from the pandemic. Does anyone really know what the future shape of services will be as we learn to live with COVID? So how can we possibly design a new service at the present time? Existing legislation requires NHS England to consider procurement when time-limited contracts are due for renewal, but NHS England has the ability to renew or extend contracts without subjecting them to further procurement. Why not simply exercise that choice? We accept there needs to be room for new providers to enter the field, but this can be achieved as contracts are handed back or services are expanded to meet demand. In the last 18 months, Patients have been inconvenienced, practices destroyed, contracts awarded and handed back or rescinded, new contracts placed which failed to mobilise on time, and an entire procurement process abandoned following multiple successful legal challenges. The process has been wasteful, inefficient and expensive. Now we are being asked to start again with new procurements whilst we are all struggling with the fallout from Covid. Please support this motion. Okie dokie, so do we have anybody who would like to speak to that motion, please? I, uh, I'm not getting any hands up there, so I'll give it another little bit longer. Um, not a dicky bird, so in which case let's go straight to the vote. This is the penultimate motion of today. Coming in, Leah. Good you know, Is everyone getting quicker near the end? I think we... Oh, sorry, Leah. Go on. No, no, you carry on. You carry on. I was saying it relates to England, so it's an England only motion, this one. I think we are there. That motion is carried. Conference demands an inquiry into the abandonment of the orthodontic procurement Midlands and East. The aim of procurement is meet the minimum economically achievable tender, value for money, quality at a reduced cost, low risk for commissioners, low or no risk for, of legal challenges, all the costs and risks falling to the bidder. The cost to the average practitioner is high, 10 to 30,000 pounds conservatively per bid. There's no detailed data available of the commissioner's cost. It's been an expensive exercise. It's not produced value for money. It's not delivered more activity, 
and it's removed patient's choice. The cost savings? None. The race to the bottom by the weighted scoring of UOA values means increased costs, lower margins, comp comp compromise the viability of contracts, some of which have already been handed back. This has been a waste of taxpayers' money, carried out by commissioners out of their depth, performed badly, a combination of closed down and new contracts have been more expensive than existing contracts. Patients have been disadvantaged by changing provider mid-treatment. Who is responsible for inherited treatment plans? Awards of contracts to bidders with no premises, no staff, no infrastructure or track record, offering multiple identical bids as far apart as New Quay, Newport and Newcastle, all on the same day. It reminds me of the freight tenders with no ferries. The credibility of the whole fiasco, with evidence of inconsistent scoring and marking, identical bids attracting different scores, resulting in different outcomes in different lot areas. The only successful appeal, an area team postcode error. The robustness is questionable, the waste of resources, resulting in clawback, collapse, poor continuity of patient's care. The pressure and mental health impact on all bidders, new and existing, has been immense and knocked the resilience of many with no measurable benefit to patients. I ask conference to support the demand for an independent inquiry. Thank you. Thank you, very clear. So, do we have, oh yes, Leah wishes to speak. Hi Stuart, yes, no, I was going to speak. I've been trying to come in and you're doing such a great job. You're on a roll there. I'm not speaking to okay. this motion, but I'm saying you can, you can have a rest now. I'll take over from here if you like. Okay, right, please do. <laughs> okay, so uh, do we have any speakers to this motion? I, ha I don't see, uh, see any hands up here. So if that's the case, then we'll go straight to the vote on this, please. Uh, and, oh, do we? Oh, yes, here we go. So this is the motion. And Binal, if you could keep me posted on how things are going I there. I will do, I will Lovely. do. Lovely. Because, right, okay, I, I, will, uh, I won't interrupt you all while you're thinking. We've had someone that's done the wrong sign. That's the first time that's happened. Someone has pressed the go faster sign. I don't know whether that's a hint or whether it was just the wrong one. So I don't know if you want me to call you out, but if you could just look at your vote again. Fantastic. You've corrected it. Wonderful. Okay. That has been carried, Leah. Okay, right. In which case we'll move on.